Hello, hello, hello. It's Julie with The Julie Show, where cannabis can't do anything. And Julie can stop grabbing her hair. Today is going to be the day that I do not do that in videos anymore. Well, I'm wearing my British shirt. And this was like a statement maybe 10, 15 years ago. I don't know what kind of statement it makes today, but it fits me today. Well, um, I've had it for a few years, but I think I probably got it when it was in style. I don't remember what the heck. Anyways. Uh, my dentures are going on the fourth week, so we're three weeks out, and, am I right about that? Two weeks, yeah, four weeks out, because today is Tuesday, this is, uh, three weeks ago, I got the top put in, and they're falling out really bad today. My bottom ones don't really move that much, and honestly, that's the ones that were supposed to be the problem. The top ones, because there's nothing holding them up, they slide right down. You see how the big old gum on the top? Yeah, uh, they're sliding right down. There's like, it's like comical. It's like going and buying teeth for Halloween. A minute. Yeah. So I have an appointment. It's 1030 in the morning right now, central time. And I have an appointment at 1130 for them to adjust them. And up on the very top of those that you just seen, she's had silicone added to make it softer up there for me and it doesn't rub and it's cracked off. So she's, come. I even dropped a little bit of glue in there because I mean, it was over the weekend. I was afraid that piece was going to come off. That could hurt pretty bad. And I'm not kidding you. I'm not in the mood to run around without teeth. I want to, I, my husband's having a hard time looking at me. He's like, man, you just look so much different without, I know, your teeth. A lot of people don't really know that because they don't, they don't have the opportunity to take out their teeth and see. But that's where a lot of elderly people start. It's like in their, the jaw turns in. Now I notice too, every night I got to lay on a heating pad. And my jaw is just not used to it yet. It is not like that. It's closed even more, so now I have a little bit of jaw problem. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all this is somewhere written, or somebody did a video on all it, and it's all normal when I'm going through everything. I'm, I'm going to take that as, you know, do I regret doing this? Uh, no. Uh, I did remember when my teeth were broke. I, I, I didn't feel very good about myself. Um, I still tried to come on here and just be G.I. Jules like I am, uh, but I didn't feel good about myself. Uh, I, I honestly, I don't know what it takes to feel good about yourself. Cause I thought that when I got my teeth there, now this is making me a little bit conscious too. This, I don't want pity or anything like that. I don't want anyone, you don't even have to comment or whatever. But why I say that is because I got the teeth and I said I would do it again. I just don't really know how much patience I have. It keeps falling down. They're telling me not to use adhesives. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm kind of, if I could just put an adhesive on it and get away with the six months with these ones and then I get my permanent dentures that will actually fit me. Does that make sense to you guys? It makes sense to me. But see, they're telling me no. They just want this to slide right out. I don't, the soft inline didn't even last but a day or two. I mean, it just doesn't hold my teeth in. Anyways, uh, it's been, a, it's been, a, it's already, I can't believe it's already, the, the first quarter is about done. Tomorrow's the last day of March. It's spring already. I'm over here buying makeup for my winter face in the spring. I'm going in the sun soon. Uh, my backyard doesn't have very much shade, so I'm pretty sure that I'll get an early summer for myself because it'll be dead sun. I am going to try to go to the beach this year. I hope the beaches and pools open up because I really do need that water. Um, I know you guys are probably like, oh yeah, and I would love to live somewhere where it's always hot. Oh, I love the water. I don't like the ocean. No, the salt water does bother my lupus infected skin. Okay. And, and usually the only time I felt the ocean is when I did have a rash because I was in the Florida sun. I never want to touch the ocean again. It burnt that bad. Uh, I don't know what else to update you guys on. Um, other than just, you know, I don't know if, uh, Oh, that's, I don't really have anything to say. I'm going to go to the dentist, and I'm going to get this all tightened up. And, uh, God, what a boring life. And I was going to write a book. <laughs> my book was going to be my first 40 years, just in case I had a really cool, you know, a dent, uh, amendment to put with the book, like, for, from 40 to death, you know, whatever I'm going to be writing. I'm about eight chapters in, but it has, there's been some times in my life where I obviously I've calmed down and it's been a little boring. You can't just be a freaking firework every single minute of every day. I don't have the energy for that. They don't give me at all. And I burnt my eyelash today. I tried heating my curler up in the strainer and it did work, but I touched and bam, I accidentally pulled them out. I don't need to be doing that because I wear false lashes sometimes and they come out with the false lashes. So I am going to probably take a little break from them. So I put on some mascara to see what kind of eyelashes I still have left. I have to say they're pretty, uh, they're decent enough for me. I wish that I had a better curler though. 
need to be more curled. Or this... I need to go a little lighter on the mascara. No, I don't think it's that. And I have a lazy eye really bad. We all have this lazy eye. My hood, I noticed this. I have a little bit of a hood right here on it. Uh, I don't know how to fix that. I don't know if you get Botox or... It does bother me a little bit, but... If I were just to do these videos and just send them to you and never look at them, it wouldn't bother me because it's your eyes, not mine. But yeah, I, I have a hard time looking at it, you know. I don't want to get judged, so I'm judging myself. I always tell people to treat others. I mean, this is what everybody says, right? Treat others how you want to be treated. And a lot of people actually, if you look around, are not doing that. They're not treating you how they want to be treated. They're not, they want you to get down on your knees and beg them for love, but they want to cuss in your face. So could you get what I'm saying? This world has gotten so crooked. The IRS is taxing people at, for, like, they're putting, uh, look at our oil, look at the, oh my god, I can't even talk. The petrol. <laughs> look at our gas prices, just literally in the first quarter. And they said the end of the world started in the first quarter of the 21st century. Is it the 21st century? Yeah, it is. And so, the first quarter, we're still, last year, 2020, is when it started. And everyone said, what a freaking madhouse of a year that was, right? And now look, 2021. We got a man running our country that we didn't even vote for. I don't even know. They think they're so much holier than God. They do. The government thinks they're holier than God. I am not very happy with what's going on. I can tell you, my husband's not very happy. But my husband is good about making sure he can keep everybody upbeat about it and tell oh no things are going good for trump oh no you know i don't know what he's watching he watches a lot of stuff that these youtubers do and i'm pretty sure that's all factual stuff so i do think that trump is smart and we all know that it <laughs> obviously even if you voted for biden you really honestly think that this he won that election. If you really think that, I I really feel bad for you. I'm sorry. And maybe you've got yourself just lied to in your head that he's what, what America needs. I feel already going into the second quarter of 2021, and I feel like we're in communism already. I feel like, um, I feel like I don't want to walk out the door without a weapon. So that's bad. That's exactly where they want me on my fucking knees. And I don't want to be there only for Jesus, you know, swearing and saying the F word in the same sentence. I'm a mess because the world made me this way. So I'm going to get back to my Jesus. I am. I'm going to, I'm going to just quit. I quit doing a lot of stuff. I made some sacrifices. He knows now, I have a personal relationship and I'm going to tell you the honest to God truth. I lost a shit ton of friends when I started following Christ. I'm not kidding. I even had one friend tell me I talked about it too much. Uh, uh, Jesus got nailed in his hands and hung from the cross like that hung by his own flesh. With the nail. They left him. They took the rope off and they put the nail in his feet so he could hold himself up. Not just nailing him in. Holding him up. There is no hero out there. There is nobody greater than Jesus. Nobody, nobody, nobody. And I don't care what the government says. They can have all the money in the world. I'm going to heaven. I'll see to it. With that all being said, I'm going to get ready to go to the dentist. I want to double check this video, make sure it's okay to go on YouTube. I uh, do not like to be too offensive to people and just keep it kind of bland. But uh everybody knows my stance. And you know what? I'm wearing my Britain shirt. I'm showing my Britain pride today. And then they got people, and I'll watch a video in the UK. I'll be like, we're still on lockdown. I'm like, how in the hell? How do you keep people for over a year on lockdown? Seriously, think about it. It was a long, that was a year ago that America did that. March, remember? Oh, God, I, I, I went. Yeah, I'm not one. I will sit in the house every day if you don't tell me to do anything. But when you tell me not to do something, oh boy, I want to go do it. And I did. I went into the photo shoot, some dry ass fountains. No biggie. But anyways, I think it's crazy how other kind of already on, they're already are still on lockdown. It just we are still. I have to admit, we're still a free country. I mean, but we are beginning to, uh, we're beginning to turn. And I don't know if, um. Uh, People don't even realize it. I don't even think they realize that. We're not really. I don't even understand what's going on. I, I mean, look at me. I'm at a loss for fucking words. I mean, I can say the F word all day and I'm at a loss for words. The world has me all twisted. Twisted upside down. Bent over backwards. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. All I know is I'm doing what I need to do to go to heaven. And I, I'm, you, when you do that against a Christian, devils just attack you. They just get you. And I don't like that at all. I mean, it, I honestly feel like I have been 
harder on myself as a Christian than ever in my life because you have to be someone. I mean, I don't like rules, but you have to have boundaries. God, and I've made sacrifices. I don't smoke anymore. I don't do a lot of stuff. I don't drink anymore. Um, but I need to quit cussing. Now I'm working on cussing. So I need God to send the Holy Spirit to my tongue and heal my tongue. That's it. I think I'm, and I think I'm pretty good as far as, you know, I don't steal, I don't lie, I don't cheat. Try very hard to follow the Ten Commandments, people, and I try very hard to make sure that I am worthy to stand in front of Jesus Christ the day I die. That's what we all should be doing. We should be standing up in front of Jesus when we, well, that's where we want to be. So we should be able to do that in our living flesh right now if that's where we expect to go. So I pray and I forgive myself and I ask God for forgiveness all day. It isn't one prayer. It's not even two prayers. It's all day. I'll say a prayer with you right now. Anybody watching this right now? Dear Lord, Father, if anybody really is watching this right now, I want you to tap on their shoulder really quick and they're going to feel it. In Jesus' name, go in peace. Amen.